Welcome to Millfields in Cam, our Bovis Homes location. My name is Nigel Lush, Regional Technical Director. We're delighted to announce that we're preserving the Roman Villa that has recently been uncovered on our development. We've been working closely with the local community and local councillors to work through a coordinated approach to maintaining the villa. Our specialist consultant, Tivas, when I show you around the villa, describe the different parts of the finds. Hello, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Agatha. I'm regional uh, office manager of uh, Tivas Southwest. Welcome everyone at the site of a uh, Roman villa, uh, remains excavated by us recently. All these excavated trenches were done to actually expose and find out how the building has been built. As the foundation, they weren't designed to be exposed to the elements. They were built to be buried as the foundation of today's buildings. Therefore, we have a lot of a problem with a groundwater here and we'll have to actually rebury this foundation to make sure that they will be still standing. This side of the building, you can easily see how the building has been constructed. So it's been terraced, it's been cut to the slope, which is why, again, that wall behind me, the shallow one, is just a foundation. It's not the wall. We had removed the deposits and we have removed the foundation trench of it, again, to expose all the stonework and to find out how the building has been built. One more spot that I would like to bring your attention to is the condition of the walls. As you can see, the wall behind me is already quite bold. It's been actually it's been here for almost 2,000 years. And the pressure from the upper part of the slope, from all this material pressing to it, actually really affected it. So we would have to really think about some, or either backfilling the inside to keep it intact, or in few years time or even sooner it will eventually collapse. Bobby's homes uh, decided to go even much farther than they should legally are obliged to because normally in that case when the planning permission is admitted we are excavating it to preserve the knowledge to preserve the information but then the site can be built over. In this situation we have full excavation and we'll have preservation by record and preservation in situ, which both is agreed to do and pay for and agreed to redesign their development to actually make sure that these remains will stay here forever. Here we are looking at the top level, but the very bottom of the wall and the top level, top of the foundations. If you look through the hypocaust, these pylons of tiles, we call them pilas. Pila were actually made to distribute heat. There was farther up the walls. There was a, as today's wood burner, the fire has been lit somewhere outside of the room. The warm air has been getting into it and distributed between them. And then the box tiles made of clay attached to the walls were distributing them up along the walls. The stone pillars, which you can see at the both ends of the hypocaust area, were supporting the floor. But you had few levels of either wood or stone before the floor would be laid on it. So which means that we are at about 40 centimeters below the original level of the building, of the floors of the building which we are convinced have been actually robbed in antiquity. They were usually robbed around where Romans left at the 4th century and then not that much later of the Saxon turn up, they very often were taking the stone, dressed, nice dressed stone off the abandoned Roman building sites, which then were either used in churches or their halls. So the floor has been gone in antiquity. We didn't find it because it wasn't there. These actually clay tiles, they are a very important part of the hypocaust, which is a ground floor, Roman ground floor heating system. Uh, if I grab this one, if you look at this one, they're formed in the form of the box. Uh, and this kind of pattern, these groovings, 
have been made to stick them to the mortar very, in the very same way as modern trays are at the back to stick them to the clay. And this one is incomplete, but they're more or less that size with the holes at the sides and there is stacked one above another on one next to another to distribute that heat that was coming into the clay pylons, the pilas as we call them, and distribute the heat up the wall. So entire room would be heated. That's why they have a hole here and there as you can see, oh this one, they would be that's an example of the hole here. So there would be one above another and one next to another, one next to another, so the air could circulate easily up and across the wall. And because of the condition of the walls, because of the part of the building that survived only uh, the very bottom of it and the setting within a site, the best foresight would be to rebury it. It will be reburied with the specification provided by English Heritage with uh, proper methods and the records of the methods and location of it will be stored in uh, local uh, heritage environment records for everyone to see and for future works. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Bovis Homes are very proud to preserve a valuable part of CAM's history. We will be placing an information board at the location of the remains for the community. Please visit Bovis Homes website for more information.